gang, Dr. Montero again. Welcome back for Peripheral Neuropathy, It's Not What You Think. So this is the last part of our three-part series, Uncovering the Truth Behind Neuropathy. In our last two videos, we explained neuropathy and all of its symptoms. We talked about how left alone it can destroy your life and how your peripheral neuropathy doesn't have to be permanent. So if you haven't watched either of those videos yet, make sure you definitely check them out after this video. They really help lay the foundation so that you understand that your peripheral neuropathy doesn't have to be a life sentence. Today, we're going to talk about so many of the common misconceptions about peripheral neuropathy that simply aren't true, and we're going to dive into a multitude of things that can cause neuropathy or maybe even worsen your condition. First, let's get started with some misconceptions you may have heard. For instance, many people think that when you have peripheral neuropathy, your nerves are dead. Your nerves aren't dead, and they're not too far gone either. If the nerves were completely dead, you would be paralyzed and unable to walk or stand, and you certainly wouldn't be able to feel any of the symptoms you're currently experiencing. Here's another misconception. Peripheral neuropathy is always caused by diabetes. The number one thing I hear from people suffering with neuropathy is, I don't have diabetes. I don't understand how I got this problem. Well, here's the reality. Two-thirds of neuropathy sufferers do not have diabetes. So what else causes peripheral neuropathy? Well, there are a great deal of other causes, like pre-diabetes. Being pre-diabetic means that the range of your blood sugar or your glucose in a fasting state, so that would be like first thing in the morning when you get up and you haven't eaten or had anything to drink, well, that range can be between 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter. You would be classified as pre-diabetic. Well, as of 2014, research revealed that being pre-diabetic can cause significant damage to your peripheral nerves, leading to neuropathy long before you ever develop diabetes. Another cause is chemotherapy. In fact, 60% to 90% of chemotherapy patients will develop neuropathy. That's exactly what caused my mother's severe case of neuropathy. If you don't have diabetes, and you haven't had chemotherapy, then chances are you've been given the diagnosis of idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. Big term, giant. Well, technically this means that your neuropathy is due to an unknown cause. I have to tell you, nothing could be further from the truth. Idiopathic peripheral neuropathy doesn't mean you have some mysterious unknown cause for your neuropathy. What it means is that your doctor hasn't taken the time to figure out the cause. There are many, many well-known causes of peripheral neuropathy, but in order to trace it back, your doctor has to spend at least 20 to 30 minutes with you going through a thorough and complete medical interview. Unfortunately, due to managed healthcare, most doctors don't spend more than 10 minutes with their patients. But don't worry, because right now, I'm gonna help educate you on the things that can lead to peripheral neuropathy and nerve damage. So the first thing I wanna talk about is cholesterol-lowering medications, known as statin drugs. These are huge culprits with causing neuropathy. So that would be medications like Lipitor or Ativastatin. Crestor or Resuvastatin, Pravacol or Pravastatin, Zocor or Simvastatin. These are just a few of the statin drugs. You might be surprised to find out that people taking statin drugs are 14 times more likely to develop peripheral neuropathy. And not only do these drugs do considerable damage to the peripheral nerves, but they also increase your risk of developing diabetes by 26 times. Now, let's talk about some antibiotics. Did you know that the most commonly prescribed antibiotics are notorious for causing severe neuropathy? These antibiotics go by the name of Cipro or Ciprofloxacin, Leviquin or Levofloxacin, and Avalox or Moxifloxacin. And they're commonly prescribed for things like UTIs, sinus infections, prostatitis, bronchitis, and pneumonia. It might shock you to know that these antibiotics can cause so much damage that the FDA has issued several black box warnings on all of these drugs. A black box warning is the strictest warning that the FDA issues highlighting serious and sometimes life-threatening drug reactions and side effects. The FDA has warned that these antibiotics are linked with some of the most severe peripheral nerve damage. Also, certain blood pressure medications are linked with causing neuropathy. Examples are amlodipine or Norvasc, Cardizep or Diltiazep, Procardia, 
verapamil, and philodipine are just a few. These medications are called calcium channel blockers, and they damage peripheral nerves by preventing the mineral calcium from getting to the nerve. Your peripheral nerves need calcium amongst other minerals for proper nerve function. Now, you might be surprised to find out that gastrointestinal disorders like GERD, celiac disease, gluten sensitivity, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and ulcerative colitis can also cause peripheral nerve damage leading to neuropathy. These disorders prevent many critical nutrients from getting to the peripheral nerves. Also, alcohol abuse is most certainly a common cause of peripheral nerve damage. But did you know that alcohol overuse is also a culprit in developing peripheral neuropathy? So, how much alcohol is too much to drink? Well, if you drink two to three alcoholic beverages daily, and yes, that does include beer and wine, within a year, you could develop peripheral neuropathy. These are just a few of the causes that I've gone over, and there are many, many more. Here's what I want you to remember. You don't have to live with neuropathy for the rest of your life. If my mother didn't have me, her life would have been miserable and unbearable. Fortunately for you, I've done all the research and I've tested the results on thousands of patients. We created our formulation, Neforia Gold, based off of all of the valid research that we found in this country and Europe. And let me tell you, there were hundreds of published research articles. Trying to get your neuropathy under control can be expensive and frustrating to say the least. There are so many ineffective neuropathy products on the market. I should know, I wasted a boatload of money on products for my mom that just didn't work because their quality was so poor. That's how we ended up developing our own neuropathy formulation. I wanted to have control over the type and quality of ingredients going into our Nerf formula. We don't want you wasting your money on a product that doesn't work. We pride ourselves in providing the highest quality of neuropathy supplements on the market that works and are used in clinics throughout the US. So, if you're ready to stop living with the pain, the numbness, the burning, the pins and needles, or any of the other symptoms that comes with peripheral neuropathy, then try Neforia Gold. Just click on the link above on the screen. All we ask of you is that you follow the exact instructions to get the best results. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Isn't it time you got back to living and enjoying life again? I look forward to seeing you on your journey to great health.